Let me once again welcome you to South Africa at this important meeting of the National Security Advisors in South Africa. It is my and South Africa's privilege to host this first in-person meeting after three years of virtual meetings due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This meeting is a significant item on the BRICS calendar and will once again provide us with an opportunity to substantially advance our common BRICS agenda and cooperation on security related matters. We need amidst changing global geopolitical realities, a period where multilateralism is increasingly coming under threat, when more countries are succumbing to the temptation to adopt inward looking positions at the expense of the global common good. The world has moved into a new and uncertain geopolitical period when the effectiveness of the previously accepted global order is in question. The apparently unraveling multilateral rules-based system, which is seemingly being overtaken by the re-establishment of the state as the primary locus of power strategy for many countries, is and will constrain many developing and underdeveloped states. This creates new risks and uncertainties like the rising military tensions, economic and commercial disruptions of hard and soft power, reconfigured trade and investment leaks, proxy conflicts, changing alliance dynamics, and potential flashpoints related to the global environment. The evolving world in which we live requires us to keep track of the multifaceted and dynamic changes, especially as it relates to security matters. BRICS is a platform that gives us the opportunity to address some of these challenges and concerns that I've referred to. Globally, we have seen a number of emerging threats and that include international terrorism, radicalization and violent extremism, drug trafficking, proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, <laughs> conventional arms, and transnational crimes. That include money laundering, financial crimes, unconstitutional regime change and color revolutions, to managing economic meltdowns, environmental degradation, forced migration, food insecurity, as well as the illicit economy. The global nature of these security issues has no respect for, uh, for borders, which implies that they can be easily imported and negatively impact our country's stability and security without discrimination. Therefore, nations cannot secure their national sovereignty unless they work together. State and non-state actors are also hard at work in certain parts of our globe to promote their agendas whilst undermining other countries' national uh, security. And these actors <coughs> are also found in mass media, non-governmental organizations and community-based organizations, foreign multinational companies, religious and student organizations, and they are running covert intelligence networks to destabilize countries that do not share their worldviews. I want to assure our BRICS partners that South Africa continues to view BRICS as a key strategic partner through which we can continue to pursue and realize a just, safer, peaceful, and more equitable world order. As an African country, we firmly believe in the need to promote peace and su sustainable development as well as deepen political, economic, and social relations. South Africa remains deeply committed to multilateral democracies in principle and in our demonstrable actions, particularly through our close collaboration with the BRICS. The BRICS National Security Advisors must reassert our collective responsibility for providing new perspectives and solutions to the current international security order. 
Our presence here is an indication of our collective commitment to cooperate in preventing, mitigating, and combating the security threats we face. Ladies and gentlemen, I am confident that our joint efforts can help alleviate the security challenges facing the globe, and we should therefore, and it should therefore be, ba be the basis for reforming the current global governance architecture, which will ensure that our efforts are actionable and sustained. Thank you.